David, let me cut to the chase because of time. When does this company, getting more mature, when do they start buying things like Twitter? Well, what a great question to start out, Tom. Um, they probably are going to need to buy some fairly substantial things in the not distant future if they're going to continue to retain the enthusiasm and excitement that's characterized their history. Um, so I'd say soon. That's a great question. I mean, part of this is 103,000 employees. I don't think people are aware of the sheer size of Google. How's the mothership? How is search doing? Well, it doesn't seem to be doing as well as we would have expected. Obviously, they were disappointed on a number of counts uh, in, in their earnings yesterday. Um, the, the real question is why, um, and I'm, I'm not sure it's entirely clear since, you know, Facebook showed continued record growth uh, recently, uh, even despite all their problems, which surprises many. Um, it, it, it's, it's possibly that Google is just getting so gigantic, because they yeah. still are hugely bigger than <clears throat> Facebook, that they just can't deliver the kind of steady, profitable growth that we've seen for so much of their history that's really changed the world. Uh, so, David, how can Google or Alphabet actually refocus? Well, I think, you know, Tom, in his typical uh, uh, penetrating way. way has suggested one <laughs> way, which is to acqu acquire things. I, I wonder myself, though, whether the fact that they don't really have an active CEO for the so-called Alphabet company um, is potentially a serious problem. Um, Larry Page is nominally the CEO, but we never hear from him. Uh, he's not on the calls. The calls are for Alphabet, but the company is effectively still treated as Google. Um, and I, I find that strange. And I, I, I think it's clearly a company that needs some leadership. They're spending a lot of money on stuff that has nothing to do with their business, so to speak. And, and, and maybe that's a problem. Okay, but David, I was looking at the numbers, right? And we understand that, uh, you know, the advertising from PCs is stagnating. And Google, unlike Facebook, actually has around 50% of its revenue coming from PCs. So how quickly can they change that? Wow. Well, that's a pretty tough question. Um, I don't think they can change it in the sense that they're going to continue to get a lot of their ads from PCs because, uh, it's, you know, there's, that's the nature of their business. But um, and, and we're, we're obviously moving toward a mobile society, but every, a huge number of people, particularly professionals, yeah. still are on PCs, too. So uh, the question is whether Google can fundamentally take a new approach to its business, uh, which, which I, don't, I don't really see happening unless right. maybe they did some catalytic transformative change, okay. like Tom suggested. How about a catalytic transformative change? I love your words, David. All these four- and five-syllable technonomy words are killing me this morning. David, they just got to pay a damn dividend. They've got to be like Apple and start acting like an adult company. When do we get a dividend? I mean, Ruth, poor Ruth Perrette is probably explaining to these guys that they got to become a blue chip stock that they are. When do we get a dividend? Yeah, we should have that soon. I think and it, it's, it's a very good question. It's a hugely mature company that still wants to sort of pretend that it's a scrappy, exactly. only the paranoid survive competitor. <clears throat> yeah. So we, we need a dividend. We need more mature leadership. Right. We need some focus. We're not getting it. 